But yeah, man, welcome back to the Snake Trap Sessions. I am so excited to be back. good everybody it's your boy mj in the building my wife's birthday dinner literally checking the trap turning off the lights before we head out to dinner reservation in like 20 minutes i don't even know why i'm wasting time doing this right now but inside we have our very first boa litter that dropped let's go inside and check out this fucking boa litter right now doing in the bushes you doing delilah it's good everybody it's your boy mj up in the building welcome back to another episode of the six trap sessions vlog if it's your first time tapping in what is good i'm your boy mj do your boy a favor hit that subscribe button hit that notification icon that we're on top of every single vlog that i drop here on the channel and then also drop a comment let me know what you're liking the most out of all these vlogs some facility tours that are right around the corner so hang tight on those thank you to all my new subscribers thank you everyone who's giving me the time of day because i am going to be working my ass off on these vlogs it's going to be an awesome day i also want to say shout out to everyone who's been checking out the podcast make sure you go subscribe to trap talk with mj podcast where i bring some of the hottest guests in the reptile industry to the channel and we just break it down talk it one-on-one -on -one. excited because as you guys saw in the clip at the beginning of this vlog i finally got boa babies man i was on my way out the door heading to my wife's dinner and then sure enough as i was closing down the trap turned around and i was basically horrified with seeing all those live babies everywhere i mean it was awesome after a while realizing but i just was it was a shock you know i'm used to seeing eggs i'm not used to seeing an actual live birth so to see that was definitely a reality check but in a good way i like it it was awesome want to experience it more but i also want to show you guys what these boa babies look like super dwarf articulated python babies that are coming out of shed as well so we're going to do updates on these babies i also want to say this episode is brought to you by headline science i got an awesome package that we're going to display on today's vlog for my buddy robin mark without further ado let's tap into the traps checking on these babies Gee. You know, if this is on, means the warm days are here. Important to make sure you get your rooms dialed in the way you gotta get them dialed in if you run things on ambient like myself. Weather changes happen. As soon as that does happen, for me, I gotta adjust stuff in the room, turn fans on at certain times, all sorts of stuff. So hey, just a Ryan reminder out there, if you have that season changing in your area, adjust the room as needed. Here we are inside the trap yet again after dropping her litter because I've heard a lot of bad things that could happen when breeding boas. I heard the mothers could die, the babies don't make it, all sorts of things, right? So said on previous vlogs, biggest thing that I care about is the mother recovering after the whole breeding project. So the mother had already eaten a meal. She's looking good. She's right here staring at me. Here we have the little ones. All bundled up. So in case anyone's wondering what the pairing was, um, the pairing was a, sh a sharp sun glow to a blood hypo jungle double het T positive albino tiger. And if you guys don't know what the tiger genetic is out there, um, it's very untapped. Vin Russo seems to be the only one to really know a lot about it based off anyone I've been asking. Um, but yeah. Excited to see what I could do with the tiger gene moving forward, if if I even can. But 
These are the beautiful babies, man. As soon as they come out of their first shed, I will go ahead and separate them, put them in their own individual tub, with those meals in them. And I will let you know what's available. But majority of this right here, majority of this litter will be available. So if you want to get ahead of the game or anything like that, just reach out to me on Instagram. Best way to do it. I'll let these babies do their thing. Stand by. Of course, right above the uh, boas here, we have the super dwarves that are deep in blue deep in their first shed right now, um, which this actual bin is already starting to shed out. Um, I had already pulled a couple from this bin here. And we can check those out now if you guys like. Female normal, you know, I didn't hatch a lot of normals, but this is one of the normals. That is pretty awesome, huh? So this is gonna be a, uh, this is gonna be a 50% Super Dwarf Kalatoa uh, Reticulated Python, just a normal female. Let's see if I can get her to come out, maybe. She's so cute. And she's also possible het Henri as well, just so you guys know. But she has some really beautiful, awesome orange eyes that she's just hiding right now. But fresh off her first shed. Check this beauty out. This is, man. This is all the kitten caboodles right here. This is gonna be a platinum marble possible het Henri. 50% super dwarf Kalatoa articulated python. And this is a female as well. Um, she has like amazing white. This, um, she has like these white markings on the side of her that I feel like are just super unique and awesome. So excited to see how this one's gonna turn out. Looks like I'm probably gonna keep this one more, more than likely. But I'll let you guys know for sure what's all gonna be available out of those uh, two bins after they all hatch out. Um, and yeah, we'll go from there. But I'll keep you guys updated and posted. Pretty awesome, huh? And just like the boas with the super dwarves, as soon as they have their first shed, I put them in their individual tubs, I get, them a, I get a few meals in them, and that's when I'll go ahead and show what's gonna be available out of the babies that I just showed, okay? So if any of you guys wanna get dibs, or if you guys wanna be a part of the wait list that I'm just now starting to create for these two projects, make sure you go hit me up on Instagram at MJ Exotics Cartel, and then we can talk from there, okay? So that being said, guys, Guys, super excited to show you guys updates on what's happening with the babies. We're gonna tap in on what the package is that I got from my man Robin Markman at over at Redline Science. So I need you guys to do me a favor before we tap into this package and see what my man Robin sent me. Do me a favor and go over to Instagram and follow him right now, Redline Science. Also go check out his website. This is where you can get a lot of awesome tools, a lot of stuff that could benefit you for your snake rooms. I don't wanna tell you too much because we're gonna tap into it, but do me a favor, like I said, go follow him on Instagram and make sure you go to his website right now and see what it's all about. All right, here we are inside the podcast room and I already opened up the box. Okay, a couple different shipments in separate times from, my, uh, from Robin. So one of them, which is awesome, Awesome, because this is gonna be something I'm gonna to have to build right now and we're gonna go ahead and kind of do this together well I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna show you guys so the cool thing is this is a prototype that Redline Science is is releasing and it's awesome because it comes with this QR code that you could just go ahead and take a pick of and it's gonna give you building instructions on, on how to build that but before I get into building this I want to show off some of this cool stuff that uh, Robin went ahead and sent me not related to what's in that box even though it's kind of similar but he sent me this really cool um some stuff that he has on his website so really cool scrapers if they, a lot of you guys know if you have uh you know those those snake poos in the corner that are almost impossible to get off these scrapers are the, the, these scrapers are money for that okay and they also have uh tinier scrapers for the more uh tinier corners to get into which i think are awesome really awesome durable scissors black is my color um and these just look really really clean and really like high grade um more scissors right here which i feel like these would be good for cutting eggs and then you have hemostats which are also called forceps or tongs whatever you want to call them um, which is going to lead me to this box here but which real quick before we get into this box and i showed you what the whole purpose was of me getting an order from robin um he just sent me these really cool awesome different color looking forceps as well that you guys could get so this is why it's awesome that's why that's why i think it's very important that you guys head over to the actual website red lion science website right now and check it out this is also cool too check this out let's see what's in here so 
here we have, and this is actually a part of the enclosure build that I'm gonna do. So I'm uh, actually packing to go to Virginia tomorrow as well. So, you know, guys, I'm just grinding right now, okay? So excuse the mess. But we'll check what this is out with this. Oh, wow, this is awesome. So more uh, forceps, more tweezers in this really player looking case, which I think is awesome for traveling in case you guys need to go to shows or anything like that. Really awesome, man. I gotta love that. I, I just love the packaging or I love the, the casing for that. And I'm assuming this is gonna be more forceps or hemostats, but let's check this out. Really player casing. Uh, oh, cool, check this out, little hook. Damn, all right, all right. Very neat. So here we have uh, more tweezers. How do these come off? I hope I just don't want to rip it off. Maybe you just stretch it out. Okay, you just pull this way. Okay, right on. Oh, wow, this is neat. Awesome, man, really neat. Oh, look, it stretches. Oh, that's hard. I like that. So this is actually something I feel like would be very handy, especially if you need to pack it, like if I'm like on a hurt trip or something like that. Man, how far does this extend? Nice, cool. Very neat, Robin, very neat. All right, so let's see what's in here. I don't know if you guys noticed, especially the people who follow me on Instagram, but I have, hold on. Alexa, play Jungle Night. It's very Socrates-y in my room now. The boy Socrates has the Alexa app for his snake room and he plays Jungle Night 24 seven for his animals. I like that. I think it's awesome. I think my snakes like it too. Anyways, Alexa, turn off music. One of many things I've copied from my boy Socrates, shout out to my boy Sock, but one other thing that I noticed that he has and it's just a precaution that he likes to carry and implement in the snake room is he has individual forceps for each individual snakes meaning each snake has their own forcep that they use. I felt like since I'm so careful in this room, um, meaning like everything is NIDO test in this room and I wanna keep it that way and I wanna be careful as far as sanitation and all that, well, the best thing you could do if you wanna get on that tip as well is make sure, make sure each snake has its own individual forcep. So I ordered each, for, I ordered forceps for everybody in this room. So why don't we tap into this box and let's see what these forceps look like. Again, thank you to my boy Robin for hooking me up and taking care of the trap, man. You are day one for sure. Let's check out this pack. Hi, I'm already putting this to good use. Use it to cut the box open and it worked very good. This package from the homie Robin. And let's see. Again, go follow on Instagram. Go to their website right now. Red Line Science, Red Line Science, Red Line Science, Red Line Science, Red Line Science. Okay, my bad. All right. All right. Check this out. Bunch of different colored ones as well. So again, guys, hemostats, forceps, tongs, whatever you want to call them. I got a bunch of these. Uh, looks like you sent me some different colored ones, which I think are awesome, easy to identify. Um, you know, I think color coordination is one way I'm good at color uh, or, you know, dividing things and whatnot. Let's go ahead and lay these all out. So these should all be around the same size here, okay? So here we have, I guess that's red ones. And I could color code these any way I want. Red, black, white, orange, and then uh, fruity, fruity pebble colors for you certain fruity pebble people out there. No offense. And then uh, black. So awesome. These are the 12 inches, uh, 12 inch hemostats or forceps, which man, shout out to my boy Robin, man, hooked it up. Bunch in here. Um, and these would be for my juveniles and my hatchlings and whatnot, okay? More of the smaller ones that I keep here inside the podcast room. And I really like the colors. I think the colors is a really good idea. Like I said, it's easy to have all of them the same color and then, you know, getting them mixed up. I mean, what's the whole point of giving them their own forceps or their own hemostat if you're gonna get them mixed up with others? So good job on that, Robin. I appreciate the color coordination. This is gonna be great. Well, bitch, let's blow the big boys. Oh yeah. Look at these. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So these are gonna be the 18 inch, which 
which is for more of the adult chondros, adult, adult emeralds, basically the ones I need length for, the ones I don't want to get bit by. I typically ask for black. Black is my, uh, now what do you want me to do? I like it. Awesome, man, look at all this. And I believe there's one more box. Yeah, here they are. Wow, look at that. So these will all individually have, each one of these snakes will have their own individual hermostats and then moving forward, I think I'll have some extras, so I'll be all ready to go. And uh, let's go ahead and just bust one out real quick so people can just see the, uh, the craftsmanship on these. Awesome, this is great. Red Line Science. It has teeth gripping all the way down to where it clamps, which is awesome. Um, I have my old ones just have the teeth up here, but don't have any down here. But these teeth go all the way down, which I think are great. So it's easy to do with one hand, which I think is awesome. All right. Shout out to Redline Science. I am going to be ready to go. And then again, shout out to my boy Socrates for teaching me that habit on getting each of your adults, each of your babies, their own individual forceps. I feel like you guys should implement that as well, especially if you test things and you're trying to be as clean as possible, well then you cannot go wrong and you cannot get more risk-free than going this route. So shout out to my boy Robin Marklin um, at Redline Science. Shout out to everyone at Redline Science. Shout out to my boy Socrates, but we're not done yet. We still gotta build this. Let's see what this prototype is from Redline Science and let's see what I'm gonna put inside of it. Let's check this out right now. All right, I'm gonna get started on this build, but I wanna be clear for anyone out there thinking, MJ is not the building type. Yeah, I built the trap, don't get me wrong. But when it comes to constructional, not that this is construction, but I'm just saying, when it comes to building stuff, <laughs> he said, I'm gonna go to the Q, I'm gonna go to the QR code, check out these directions. If I could build this, anybody could build this. Let's see what happens. All right, what, 45 minutes later? I mean, I'm a slow person, so that's not bad. And it turned out great. Very easy to uh, open up the doors. I went with the tuxedo style, black on the outside, white on the inside. And yeah, man, look at the doors, smoothly open and closing. You also have a nice ventilation up top. So I am on my way, like I said, to Virginia. I haven't even packed yet. I was gonna go ahead and show myself putting an animal in here, but I'm gonna wait to do that on the next vlog. That way I can put the proper UVV lighting, which will be VivTech, of course. I could deck it out, but unfortunately I gotta pack, get moving, and I will continue this red line enclosure build when I get back from Virginia. Stay tuned and we will finish this, guarantee. And again, shout out to my boy, Robin Marklin over at, over at Red Line Science. Go to his website, place some orders and get you some of that Red Line Science gear. All right, guys, that's all we're going to have on this episode. Do your boy a favor. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. And if you are subscribed, I'm just letting the other non-subscribers already know because it looks like I have about 63% of the people watching these vlogs that aren't subscribed. Heavy. So why don't you guys hit that subscribe button before you guys dip out. Hit that notification bell. That way you don't get slept on any of the vlogs. Because guess what? The next vlog that I drop is going to be a facility tour. Is it going to be at a private collection? Is it going to be at a zoo? Holy shit. Where am I going to go? That's why it's important that you subscribe to the channel, man. I want to say shout out to all my trappers out there. Shout out to my Patreon members. If you want to be a part of a sick community and that's and that gets you tapped into behind the scenes at Trap Talk with MJ Podcast, best thing you could do is go down to the link below and join the Trap Talk Patreon family today as soon as you join you get tapped into the discord you meet the whole family we tap in every sunday oh my god i don't want to give you too much just go down and join the family shout out to my patreon all my trappers out there you guys are my heart thank you for all the love and support and i'll catch you guys here next time on another snake trap session vlogs and i'm out Cheers.